this is a, a poem that I wrote shortly after I became homeless um, a couple of years ago. I'm lost with the dates, just as I've lost my teeth. I've lost uh, times and places, but they're coming back. And this one's called Induction. The gift that, to carry many fears through what seem like constant storms in a twisted way, it's induction to the gift of life in a beautiful world that is infested by greed and corruption. Sorry, went wrong, can I do that again? Yeah, just do it again, John. Yeah. Through the top. Yeah, right. Yeah. My name's Darren, I'm staying with my friend Andy and Jacob. Uh, it's on subways, uh, Milky's train station, I'm homeless. I've been homeless a couple of years and this is one of the first poems I wrote, it's called Induction. Pretty much, you know, what I was seeing and feeling at the time. Absolute. Uh, to carry many fears through what seemed like constant storms in a twisted way, it's induction to the gift of life in a beautiful world that is infested by greed and corruption. Thank you. Mm -hmm. This is four days after Darren tried to commit suicide by throwing himself under a taxi outside of Central Milton Keynes Station. And you can tell that he, his mind is losing his thought. He isn't nowhere near as eloquent as normal. But bear with Darren during episode two because it's going to be in stark contrast to episode three where you'll see him talking so eloquently, reciting the token for you. And it, he is such a poetical genius, an undiscovered talent. And please share, especially episode three. If you don't want to share anything else, just share episode three to show people the talent that this guy's got. I really like that. Have you got any more, Darren? Because you know I love your poetry so much. Um, well, yeah. Hopefully you're not a rare breed. <laughs> um, um, not, not a comedian. Um, yeah, this, this one... I remember the title as I go through it. It's... Uh, boost, The Boost. That's it, it's called The Boost. A boost for a second, a moment of kindness, a boost, yeah, a boost for a second, a moment of kindness. Oh, do you know what he's going? A boost for a second, a face in the crowd, a moment of kindness, a boost for a second, a light in the darkness, only to be carried away by the herd who condemn me, whose faces show anger and resentment at what has become me. Pretty much it for today. What, what about what you wrote in your book that I saw? Oh, that yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what? I think, excuse me, I'll just get it out of the back. Where's the snap on back? It's really poetry. I'm going to make this world a better place. Hopefully before I leave it rather than after. Everyone makes this a better world at some point. Hopefully during their life they can be kind, generous, though not stupid, with surplus to requirement, helpful and honest. Or if they choose they can, without excuse, or have or show no any compassion, make as many people over as possible. And if and if that's just stupid, then that's definitely when they'll make it a better world as they leave. And at that point, they should just do that before... Before they are asked to leave, or worse, off run. So it's more thought it's more say than... Thanks, Jacob. That's more thought than poetry. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's, it's actually fact. You know, we all get to make this a better world. You know, and uh, hopefully during our life, we can find a path, even if we have to search it out through through a wilderness. You know, we have to see, find the path, and then 
once on that path, we can uh, even if we stray, you know, you can you can still be kind and help and and just be good, you know, just do be do what's right and that is you know, in you know in this in the pleasure of being nice the feedback you know when you know it's, it's, it's just nice <laughs> and that's a better feeling for me when i feel nice than when i feel bad and you know and uh, i um I, I just i'm you were saying to jake that you need to look after yourself before you can like go and look after your family you said that to jake just now yeah, no, I said uh, he needs to find himself yeah. before he finds um, the people he worries about and loves. So are you trying to look after yourself? And him as well. And, right, right. Yeah. But you're a very generous yeah. person. You bought me, me a cup of tea and... You bought me, you bought me. Yeah, yeah, you bought me. Uh, it's nice to be able to sit and... Uh, I love sitting here with you, even though the tables are sticky <laughs> and disgusting. <laughs> Oh, they do that just Some for me. Yeah, they make that, they do that just for me. <laughs> yeah, you know that's right. You know. Um, Although you did spill a, do you remember you, we came here last week and you spilled a? That was anger. That was that was. I was so angry. It was, everything was going wrong that day. Well, it fell over. Was it Fanta or something? Uh, Fanta. Yeah, you, you bought me a. Yeah, my favourite drink, and I was really thirsty. You, know, you bought it to me, and I tripped just at the end. And oh yeah, no, not good. Thank you.